Now, how important is it to get a deal by Friday, or could it go on from there? Because this is a self-imposed deadline. It is indeed. And in fact, there are two deadlines at work here. The more important one probably is tomorrow, July 9th, um, after which the U.S. Congress will get twice as long, two months instead of one, uh, in order to review any deal uh, that's, that's arrived and to veto it if they, if they want. Um, so that's a problem, a political problem for the administration, but it's also a problem for the Iranians because they don't want to be the ones to have uh, sort of given a gift to hawks in the U.S. who want to sabotage any deal with Iran. Okay, well, we've got to ask, you know, what are the main uh, stumbling blocks? Is it, uh, well, visits to certain military installations? That's one of them. Uh, that's something that's a red line that the Supreme Leader in Iran has been drawing for weeks now. Um, there are ways around that. Uh, there are, you know, sort of degrees of managed access, uh, sort of nuances that you can, you can negotiate. Um, there are other stumbling blocks that are perhaps more difficult. Um, Iran wants wider sanctions relief than the uh, Western nations are, are prepared to give, uh, including a, uh, lifting a UN arms embargo. Um, and then uh, there are questions about uh, what happens if there are violations. Are, uh, do sanctions automatically snap back? Or does there have to be some sort of arbitration procedure to decide the, the severity of the violation and the response? Um, you know, these are difficult, difficult issues. Uh, but, you know, everyone knew that, that uh, they would come down to this in, in the very end. It's still possible to get them resolved, I believe.